the S&P 500, ticker symbol SPY. In this video, we're going over my trade idea of the week and the day-by-day -day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the 1-hour chart. We remain in positive MACD, but approaching to negative MACD territory, as we also see the 9-moving average diverge onto the 18-moving average, the blue and purple lines respectively. As with the 4-hour chart, we still remain in positive MACD and we're off of overbought condition with the RSI. As with the daily chart, we still remain in positive MACD and we're seeing it converge once more and we're approaching to overbought levels with the RSI. As with the trade idea, my position size is less than 1% of my portfolio, my long entry is at $409.06, and that is this range here. My sell target is at $423.13, and my stop loss is at $405.32. And as for my short entry, that is at $429.52, and my sell target is at $412.90, and my stop loss is at $436.07. So whichever entry price were to hit first, that will be my position of the week. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model, which is available in the link below, so do check it out. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, the S&P 500 has a 25% chance of climbing between 0 to 2.4%, a 13% chance to climb between 24 to 4.9%. To the downside has a 50% chance to fall between 0 to negative 2.4% and a 13% chance to fall between negative 2.4 to negative 4.9%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.